Hey folks, <clears throat> I wanted to make, uh, this is actually my third video I'm making with Prepared 3D version 4. Uh, I didn't post the second one because I found uh, uh, the video just didn't really show what I was trying to to explain the way, way the way I wanted to. So anyways, I've been toying with this now for about four days and uh, I wanted to just show you some things I've noticed. Right now, I'm in uh, Key West International Airport. This is the Payware Scenery version 2, which needs some updates because of missing textures. So that's what you guys are looking at right there. I'm in Piglet's A29, which I was flying in my very first video. And uh, I am running a number of mods in the sim already. Uh, basically, I bought FSUIPC version 510. Uh, Pete Dowson is selling it on sim market. I have Rex. Uh, essentials and overdrive installed um, what else I I'll post everything at the bottom of my video that I'm currently running I have one edit in the uh, config file which is affinity mask I'm using all four cores of this four core processor um, initially I had in the graphic settings within this game I had a maxed out and my frame rate was 20 25 with weather uh, with no traffic on so I knew I was taking a hit somewhere so I had to play around with it so basically the sim is running uh, off a GTX 1080 founders edition it is overclocked and the settings within that video card are maxed out using the, the Nvidia interface I'm going to show you my my current settings within this game if you look in the right hand corner you can see my frame rate is you know over a hundred just sitting here in this uh, very simple but uh, funny aircraft that I fly piglets a29 so right now we'll go in real quick I'll show you my my options when I'm when I've got running none of this is important none of that's important uh, this is basically my sound traffic I have everything off right now because I'm looking strictly as performance I didn't want to have anything introduced any decrease in performance like aircraft you know taxing or anything like that realism you know I'm not a real pilot I just fly it for fun so going to the display right here this is the big ones anascropic fil uh, filtering and you know you're in uh, AA so anti-lazing because I'm running the sim at 2715 by 1527 I don't really need this push really high I want to maintain a frame rate no matter what type of weather I'm flying in for about 60 FPS so right right here at 4x MSAA and just 4x here with texture filtering even with FXAA on I'm getting the kind of frame rate that I want huge and it looks great and, it, and it's just it's very smooth underworld uh, I'm running ultra for the detail, uh, tessellation factor is high, mesh resolution is 5 meters, texture resolution is 60, I'm using high resolution terrain textures, very dense for, for scenery complexity, um, and the rest is high and dense dense, dynamic 3D auto um, vegetation, water detail I've got to high, that's good enough for me, special effects I've got maxed out, lighting, I did turn on, I was playing with the... Uh, HDR a little bit and I was able to find settings which saturation I kind of like I could go 90 to 1 to, to 0 0.00 so right in there I kind of like what I'm seeing shadow quality I keep it medium because it's not a big a big deal um right here uh, this is basically what I'm running for weather settings I'm also using um, you know the Rex essential overdrives which has a weather engine in it uh, AA Kyra is FSUIPC, the payware version, which you can find on Sim Market. But that's that's pretty much what's going on here with the Sim. I'll post the details in the video, but just to show you, this is this weather is you know a, a preset that I made uh, using Rex uh, high definition textures, and as you can see. You know, this is a pretty nice airport. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Initially, when I was taking off out of here with this scenario, you know, my frame rate was, you know, pretty good on the ground. But as soon as I got airborne and I got over the water, um, man, did it take a hit with the uh, anti-lazing and, and uh, texture filtering set on, you know, it was actually maxed out. So 
it's kind of strange. The graphics card is maxed out in the NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel. Uh, but this right here is very acceptable. I mean, this looks really, really good. I've been watching videos on YouTube to see how people are, you know, uh, setting up, you know, what they've got going on in their specs and their machine and this and that. And, and you know, some of it looks really good. And, and you know, I mean, it, it's the game is still relatively new. So people, you know, folks out there are trying to figure out what works for them, what they like. You know what their hardware can handle but uh, I'm a more visual person myself like I actually fly because I like the idea of movement I love airplanes but you know I'm not a pilot and I don't care to be a pilot I mean you know if I was younger and life was different I definitely would be involved if it was World War II I'd probably want to fly a Mustang or a Thunderbolt even though I'd be scared shitless but um, you know I mean this is just pure relaxing enjoyment for me. I just, it's a hobby and I absolutely loved it. I mean, it's more than a hobby, I guess, now because I've spent so much time toying with this stuff years. I mean, well over 10 years I've been flight simming and very involved in it. But as you can see, we took off. Look at the frame rate. And that does look pretty good. I'll give you an idea of this, this area. But initially, you know, with my settings maxed out right there, I was taking such a huge hit. This water looks fabulous. I mean, I shouldn't say fabulous. It looks great. But, you know, looking back out over Key West, you can see a lot of those mixing, missing textures on the uh, building, but I'm sure they'll come out with a patch. But to me, this looks pretty nice. The water looks good. You know, I'm looking out over there over, you know, the tip of Key West, and frame rate is still looking awesome. You know, this is, this is some heavy-duty weather shit going on. I mean, I don't have any uh, ships or vehicles. But uh, I've got plenty of room overhead if I want to add something. <clears throat> Matter of fact, we'll just come out here real quick, and I'll throw a few, uh, I'll throw some ships out there, and we'll see what happens. So we'll come back around, head towards Cuba maybe, and I think we're heading towards Cuba. So I trim myself out level a little bit, and uh, all right. So here we are, folks. We got FCUIPC. I'll, I'll show that real quick. Is not fully functional or doesn't have everything, I guess, that Pete's planning on putting in it. I'm not overly familiar with any of this, but it is working. And uh, it's 20 I guess, about $23. So, anyways, let's get. Okay, there we go. Next page. Do we have a next page? Wait a second. And we only have one page. Hmm, I guess I only have one page. I might have to do some edits. Well, anyways, that's good enough because, wait a minute, there is aircraft here. So we've got crowded deck two. All right. Yeah. And this should put us, should put some aircraft. Okay, yeah. We'll do uh, five miles ahead. And we're going to, get them moving the wakes are still looking good and uh let's see if we got these here uh five miles ahead all right this must be the southern ship that i just flew over right there so she's moving and they, yeah i can see the carrier right there slightly to the left of the hud see it right there it's coming into view so looking at this you know with adding the you know, uh, detailed third party. This isn't the default carriers. This is, you know, the stuff that was uh, third party. Um, and I'm I'm getting some really good frame rate. I'm still at close to 60. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've got some serious weather and, and graphic settings. Uh, this water looks phenomenal. Initially, when I started losing all the frame rate, I was wondering how much of a hit I was going to take with... Uh, the Rex Essentials and Overdrive because I was thinking, well, maybe it's not optimized for 64 bit or is there an issue? You know, I don't have a clue. I'm not a programmer, but this is all trial and error. But as you can see, you know, anything close to 60 at this resolution and level of detail, uh, I'm pretty happy. And I'll give you an outside look too. So it's a flyby of the aircraft. 
love this aircraft. And let's see if we can come around a little bit, but I might have too much saturation in there. But we'll we'll get it sorted out, so. But yeah, I kind of love flying with, with this uh, type of weather pattern. Let's go ahead and go back into graphics. I'm going to lower that saturation a little bit and see what happens with that. Let's come back under lighting. Let's come back to 90. I think the fault was 70. Take some of the blue out of it, maybe. So, yeah, you, you get that a little weirdness with with the uh, HDR and the lighting and stuff. Now, if I go in here and turn off the lighting, and watch this, I'll turn off, we'll go to graphics, go to lighting, I'll disable HDR, high definition lighting, and let the aircraft come back. It's gotta recycle its skins. Give it a second. There we go, now it's coming. So. Now, some people, I mean, that doesn't look bad at all. That, that looks pretty decent. Um, definitely not as intense or intensely radiated. The light's kind of weird the way the colors uh, display themselves on my, my you know, uh, hardware and, and system and stuff like that. But, I mean, I can live with this, too. Uh, there's no, I haven't seen much of an impact with HDR enabled or disabled. As you can see, we're still pushing close to the same amount of frame rate before I disabled HDR, but that looks pretty good. Now I'll take you right over the carrier, and we'll try to keep the carrier in sight. Frame rate still, still pretty high. And level of detail pretty smooth, too. So... We'll do one more. We'll go right down the flight deck. I'll shoot right up that wake like I'm going to land. and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So for you guys that want a cool free aircraft to fly and you like the one I'm in, uh, go to Sim Outhouse. You might have to register and uh, type in the search engine. Uh, A29B by Piglet. It'll come up. You might even just type it into Google and you might have some hits. But uh, absolutely love this aircraft. I'd like to know what Pid Piglet's doing if he's still making anything. I, You know, these guys, you don't really get to know. They design this freeware stuff for us gamers and simmers. And, you know, it's like, wow. You know, they spend... I can't imagine the amount of hours they spend, but you know, really dedicate it. You have to be dedicated to put this kind of effort into it. This wake looks pretty good. I'm just going to fly right down the flight deck. Woo, hey, boys. Whoa. So I got the old UH-60 out there on C-Ops, whatever. I don't know what they call that, carry ops, but they're out there in case somebody has to eject from a bad launch or a bad landing. So... That, you know, that's pretty much what we're dealing with. You can see that there's some lightning off in the horizon. Another close-up of the UH-60. has got all its textures, too. It's looking good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Pretty happy. I'll tell you what. I can't, I can't really uh, say how happy I am about... Lockheed Martin finally releasing a 64-bit version of this game because uh, I have missed my Simmon. And uh, two things I miss in the world is Simmon and my friend Courtney. And uh, life without either one kind of sucks, if you know what I mean. So, with that said, I guess I'm going to be doing more Simmon since uh, Miss Courtney ain't around. So, I think that's it. I'm going to sign off. Um get myself a snack and I think I'm just going to take a flight and just enjoy the sim a little bit and not worry about uh, tweaking or freaking shit out 
I've got the things that I want in there now. I'm a big carry ops guy, so that was important. It took me a day and a half to kind of figure out what was going on with with uh, AI carriers not working. Whenever I launched the sim after installing it, I got an error, a JavaScript error, saying Java couldn't connect. And like I said, I, I'm not a pro with this, but I turned around and did some reading, and it turned out that there was another version uh, from a developer uh, or a guy with the computer name uh, of uh, Orion who had created a different version that used Net Framework. And I deleted the old version that I had and installed his version. And I'll be a son of a bitch. It worked yesterday morning. And I was pretty happy. Hey, boys, don't shoot me down. So that's it. Uh, everything else is good. It is Sunday at about 11, uh, 10.45. And uh, I had a great day with my buddy Bill. And my buddy Matt is learning how to text and send emails and getting him kind of situated. And my family's okay and everybody seems to be in an okay place. And that's okay with me. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope everyone's enjoying life. It's a weird summer. A lot of rain. Cooler temps. Not a lot of fun. Uh, waiting for some nice hot weather. I do some track days with my buddies. So, if you're out there running around, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next video, folks. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Bye.